um, this little device on Salty Lass for a good while now. <laughs> but I'm actually finally coming to use my little brush on a uh, on a wire because every now and then my drains uh, block up and uh, I'm going to just see how effective this is. You know, is it something that we need to keep on a boat or is it just something that's an idea <coughs> that's not really worth the effort? So, uh, so far, uh, some issues, I can tell you that for free, but only because <laughs> it's already coming apart. Oh, these have only had it two seconds. But uh, let's uh, cover that up. Let's see if it's any good. Getting my drains cleaning. Uh, and the answer is no. So <laughs> I've just made it worse. Oh God. So of items not to have on your boat. Oh days, never mind. So why can't you leave me alone, Beverly, for two minutes? Because you'll wreck anything if you're left alone for two minutes. <sighs> leave you alone for a couple of minutes, come back in the sink after bugger. Oh god. So here's me thinking there's fats and all sorts of things down there, and I'm trying all sorts of detergent to cure it. What is it? Bloody brush. Just stuck a brush down there. Honestly, can't get this stuck. Well, some good news. Pass it up here. I'll open it up here to relieve the pressure. Pass the pass the pass it up. Just <laughs> right. There's enough chaos on this book tonight. Some good news. I managed to uh, uh, get the little brush. Right. Well, do us all a favor. Yeah. Don't try and repair it. Just put it in the bin. So Beverly wants me to put it in the bin. Yes, I don't care. Engineers fix things. Put that one in the bin. Yep. So, no good idea to have on your boat. Well, it's definitely not the best outside. It's um, we would describe it as sort of like trying to sleet um with a little bit of snow maybe but um sleet is at the moment uh but beverly has done what she can with the door project um she's basically taped off the door so that we can use our dremel and um just sand off a little bit there's just not it's a little bit too wide um because the acrylic isn't um the same width all the way down um, at the bottom it's like 9 mil, but at the top it's 10.2 and that's just a little bit too much. Um, so Beverly's doing that, but in the meantime I'm doing um, adding some bungee cord to our bow fender. Um, I'm just sort of like whipping it and then I'm going to put some tape over the top of my whipping. But at the moment I'm sewing it so that it's absolutely secure. As part of our useful things to have on a boat, that you might not think about. A um, kitchen lighter, even if you don't have uh, a gas um, cooker like we do, having one of these is really useful. I know you can get um, cutters that actually cut rope and everything, but if you don't, then having one of these means that you can at least burn them. And that's what you need in sometimes. I think we need a new one of those. That one's looking a bit weak. Uh, probably needs filling up with gas again. But um, yeah, it is what it is. But the thing is, it's just one of those useful things to have on a boat. Well, Beverly's uh, had to go to her mum's today. Uh, so uh, I've been left alone to my own devices. Always a dangerous thing here on Salty Lass, leaving me alone. But uh, I am going to get on with some jobs. Uh, it's very boring, but um, when we put the bubble on, we put U string, um, and we didn't really like it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some cord. Um, 
I've also um, sorted out the fender step and everything, but it isn't attached, so I'm going to go and get that done. I mean, so very simple, but at least it's some job that I can do on my own. So that's why I'm going to do it. I am a complete newbie to blogging and things like that because you know I've got this camera set up um, so I just thought right what I'll do is I'll just take this camera outside and you know film all I was filming was me measuring how big my string is not exactly super exciting <laughs> It's just the wrong setup. Um, you know, you've got to have the right equipment. If I'm going to be blogging, then I really need um, the little mini camera and I need it mounted. And then I can video myself. But trying to hold the extension cord while I'm filming and doing it, <sighs> nightmare. But uh, anyway, I've measured this. So I'm just going to burn this and um, cut them all up and then I'm going to hopefully get it sorted. But anybody who think that I um, didn't know anything about what camera equipment or anything like that because I'm being silly. <laughs> side done i'm coming for a warm because it might look sunny out there but boy is it cold but <laughs> i've just reviewed my video <laughs> and i've decided that one of the things you really need on a boat is a hairbrush <laughs> honest to god i don't know what's happening to my hair but bad hair day isn't in it oh geez don't know how long that will last because uh, I'm out now uh, to go and do the other side. Well, I've done both sides of the boats now and uh, yes, you've guessed it. My hair is yet once again an unmitigated disaster. So if anybody ever tells you that boat life is glamorous, tell them no way. Beverly and I have already done an episode on <laughs> the glamorous life of um, yachting and the two don't go together really. Anyway, that's that job done. Now I've just got to fit that bow fender. And as far as I'm concerned, that's all I'm going to get done today. It's ridiculous. I mean, say, so, you know, I've got a full day today, but it's so cold out there. I'm not doing any. bungee cord uh, measured now so now it's just a case of um, neatening it all off but that brings me to another thing that you should always have on the boat um, I've been using cord today uh, I uh, bought some cord um, from Bobs and Bobs that's just here and I'm afraid to say <laughs> tying that bubble wrap uh, has basically used it all up 
so have some cord on your boat but also have bungee cord um it's just so useful for keeping things in place um and um yeah in this case it's going to keep the bow fender in place but it's just one of those 999 things that you need on your boat it's amazing the amount of stuff you need but it's uh boat life for you <laughs>